Hi Cancer, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am showing the water signs some love tonight, okay? We are just doing a collective energy read for the Cancer Collective. So, um, if you have that energy in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or otherwise, okay? Something here may resonate with you. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to start with some oracle messages for you, Cancer, and see what's going on, okay? For Cancer. The inner voice, look at that, beautiful. It says, thank you angels for guiding me through my inner voice. Some of you, that voice may be getting stronger. It's You, you may be feeling your intuition um, growing or telling you something specific um, here. A lot of lovey-dovey energy in this card. Let's see what else. This card is asking you to focus on your inner voice, okay? And also to, um, when I say focus, okay, that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is justified. And, and I say that to say this. There's a difference between your um, intuition and your ego, okay? Um, a lot of us will... It's like the Page of Swords energy. A lot of us will um, have these negative thoughts in our head. You know, this is going to go wrong. That's going to go wrong. I'm not good enough. Um, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't know enough. Okay, all of those things are not your intuition. Please understand. But let's see what we're talking about here for you. So can we get some more oracle messages for the Cancer Collective? Hmm. I walk ever forward. Every passage through darkness offers the opportunity to emerge into light. Very nice. Yeah, so again, for some of you, you may be going through a dark time right now, not really understanding how you could possibly get out of it. And especially if your inner voice um, is nothing but negative, um, it'll cause you even more difficulty and cause you to stay in that place. This is starting off really similar to Pisces energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or have that energy in your chart. But let's see, let's go on. You never know. I don't know why this card is even in here. Okay. That was the um cleanse card. They hold on, I'll show you. She incorporated it into the deck just to remind you to cleanse it with your clear quartz. But perhaps you need some cleansing as well. She. <laughs> you might need some uh, obsidian around you. Soak up that negative energy that you got. What other messages do we have for cancer, please?
I accept rebirth. This card says, I understand endings and beginnings. My heart is calm through life's cycles, okay? Um, and the cycle here is this dark path that you're on. You're on this path. Um, you may not be able to see beside you, see in front of you. It's like you're in this space of feeling isolated, feeling um, alone, feeling like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All right, let's get one more here. For some of you, this may come after a time of, of a difficult birth or a difficult pregnancy or a um, miscarriage even, and perhaps not believing that you can move on from that difficulty or not believing that you that you will ever see the opportunity um, to try again. Okay, one more please for cancer. Anything else? Thank you. Greatness is my right. I love these cards so much. Greatness is my right. I allow the universe to work through me, accepting the success she gives. Okay, you know, kids, so when, when we come to an ending or the end of a road, okay, in our lives, whether with a job, um, you know, leaving a job that you've been at for a long time, um, departing from a relationship, um, romantic or otherwise, okay, your friend, uh, for some of you, this is about your mother, um, or your mother figure, I feel, or even the mother of your children. Um, anyway, the getting over the hump of cycles like that are naturally difficult, okay? But the universe is trying to offer you the opportunity here to move forward. They're asking you to have faith. Yeah. They're asking you to have faith. Have faith in yourself as well with this inner voice card because you know kicking your own back in is not really conducive to your growth okay oh goodness me all right let's see Oh, okay. Is that what we're doing? Being unruly. This is just this is gonna be just like the Pisces reading. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, that's a change in the physical space or in the material world. I don't know why what I was about to say just now. <clears throat> yeah, because there's this energy here that you've like you've you've given up. But the Knight of Pentacles is coming in to offer you a new opportunity here, to offer you um, a cleansing of sorts, a fresh start, okay? And you have the Knight of Cups, okay? So for some of you, this might be a fresh start romantically, a fresh start. Um, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, this could be a... Um, a career that you've always wanted to do, 
all right? That taken off for you, but first you have to believe in yourself. I mean, we got to stop there. Two nights coming in. Okay, what else for cancer, please? Oh my gosh. All right, then you're getting the Four of Swords, and now you're getting the Knight of Swords. A lot of people um, around you, Cancer, we're going to have to take a deeper look at this and see what's going on. Okay. I hope my dog's not messing with his... Uh, he been back there looking for like 10 minutes. He, he had surgery this morning. He has like a surgical glue. I hope he's not messing that up. Okay. Okay. Ace of Cups coming out. Got a lot of opportunities on the board here for you. Let's get it all out and then we'll talk about it. What else do you have for cancer, please? What else do you have for cancer, please? Wow. Um, eight of wands, Cupid's love arrow. Oh my Atlanta. Okay, so I feel like somebody is um <laughs> Knock, knock, knocking on heaven, though. <laughs> um, what is that, the 70s or 60s? Anyway, I feel like someone's trying to come in here and you're like, I don't know. I don't know with this four of swords if you're going to pay them any attention at all. Um, you might be too stuck in your head with that inner voice card um the overall energy here is the two of cups right um someone's coming in trying to offer you love offer you connection i feel offer you advice words of wisdom someone's trying to come in and, and and shift your energy i don't i don't necessarily know that this is a romantic relationship but someone who cares about you i feel um, is trying to come in and help you through this crisis, I want to say. Okay. Yeah, look at that. They're trying to bring the sun. They're trying to bring you the sunshine. All right, let's look at this message deeper. Okay. Oh. So let's clarify the two of cups and the overall energy. This is two of cups for cancer, please. We have the three of wands, so it could be somebody at a distance or someone you've been waiting for. Um, someone, I feel like it's someone who's had their eye on you, who's like been... Um, I don't know, watching you struggle and perhaps now they feel called to come towards you. Yeah, there's the King of Cups. Somebody here wants to offer you love, I feel. Um, but again, not, not necessarily in the romantic sense. I mean, for some of you, yes, it is in the romantic sense. Um, but for others of you, it's, it's, 
whether romantic or not, is someone who really cares about you, cares about your well-being, um, and wants you to get through this difficult time because they see you struggling on your own, okay? And isolating yourself. Um, from the rest of the world. Okay. Let's look at this Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles, please, for Cancer? What's this Knight of Pentacles, please? You have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay, for the Knight of Pentacles. It's clarified by the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Death card. Look at that Death card. For some of you, again, like I said, I really feel strongly that this has to do, I mean, again, I don't think this is going to be for multiple people, but I, there's something here about... Um, like I said earlier, something to do with a child or your um, your um, child's mother. Um, it's like uh, there was an attempt to build a family here, okay, and things did not go the way that you expected them to or the way that you wanted them to. Um, some of you are dealing with Aries. What? Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here with the King of Swords, okay? Yeah, there's there's something here about a medical procedure. Um, and I think that's why that Four of Swords is there as well. All right, let's move on and see what else we have. Curious about the rest of these knights. What's this knight of cups, please? For cancer, what's this knight of cups? What do we need to know here about the knight of cups? Two of Swords, the High Priestess, both number two. One more, please, for the Knight of Cups. One more card for the Knight of Cups, please. Pisces energy showing up here for you. One more card for this Knight of Cups, please, for you. So you may be dealing with a Pisces or have that <laughs> energy moon rising or otherwise. Okay, you have three twos. Oh boy, Cancer. You have three twos here. Um, bottom of the deck is the eight of wands showing up again. You already have the eight of wands here. I'm gonna look real quick because Okay, I just wanted to see um, everything that the number two meant. It definitely has to do with decisions. Well, decisions, choices, balance, okay? Um, it could even have to do with opposing sides. Um, but I feel like something was imbalanced here, perhaps when someone um, did finally come forward in the past with an offer, with this emotional message. They left things out. They left you confused.
Yeah. And that could very well be why this thing didn't work out because someone wasn't being honest. Someone, someone didn't reveal everything to you that they should have or could have here when they offered you something or when they, when they, um, attempted to, um, send you a message or reach out, reach out to you in some way. Okay, let's move on. Spirit, what's this Four of Swords, please, for Cancer? What's the Four of Swords, please? Clarify this Four of Swords for Cancer. Get in the World card. Okay, representing the ending or something, okay, ending of a cycle. Um, there's the hermit and the moon. You're, you're trying to heal here, um, Cancer. Like I said earlier, it's, it's like you are um, pushing people away. Um, someone here is rushing in with this knight of swords. Someone here is rushing in, someone new, I feel. Um trying to create happiness, create, create joy in your life. But again, um, that last situation, that last situation was difficult for you. Okay. Wow. My God, I can't even hold all the cards. Hold on. That last situation was difficult for you. Okay. It all, you thought that it was going to offer you everything here. My God. At the bottom of the deck, 10 of cups, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, the Tower, the Lovers, like this was something that you thought would bring you great joy, stability, family, commitment. <sighs> but it didn't work out that way. It can't crash and burn, okay, is what I just heard. It came to an ending, it came to a screeching halt here again because someone wasn't, someone was not revealing um, all their cards with the moon card there. And it's placed you in this like depressive energy. You had to take a step back. Like, okay, all you're doing is confusing me. I feel like maybe I'm missing something. Am I crazy or are you crazy? What's going on here? I need to take a step back and figure out if I'm crazy or you're crazy. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> but like we spoke about the other day in, 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 in your reading, Cancer, you made this decision for yourself. And, you know, be confident in the fact that this is the best decision for you and that it's something better coming. We see that something better coming. Let's move forward to it, huh? We don't need to stay stuck in the past. <laughs> Spirit, what's this Knight of Swords, please? Tell us about the Knight of Swords. I feel like your intuition also was on fire here um, in that life, in that past situation and in, in that old situation. Like even though this person wasn't revealing everything, it's like you already knew anyway that something wasn't right. Something wasn't going to work out. For some of you, this might have been a long distance relationship. Or um, a lot of travel involved. You may have met over the internet, over social media, or a dating site, okay? Mm -hmm. This 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 person, okay, 
whether it's a person or just the universe, listen, we will take it. You have the Justice card here, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. This person is trying to come in and fix this situation for you, which is what I said in the beginning of this reading, Cancer. It's just a matter of whether or not you're able to move forward um, and see things differently. See the light at the end of the tunnel. That's a good decision to make. But they're trying to come in and resolve things for you. They're trying to come in and bring balance for you. For some of you, this was a marriage or a, a long-term commitment. All right. Yeah, if someone wants to come in and right the wrongs, I feel like you've been um, really hurt by the secrets that came out or by the, 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 the things that were hidden, all right? The things that were done behind your back, I feel. But the universe is stepping in to right that wrong for you. So there's no need to be in your head about um, what you could have done differently or um, what you should have done differently how you could have said something differently like we spoke about in the beginning of this message because their karma is their karma. You have to push on and be in control of your own life, your own destiny, your own greatness. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Hold on. My OCD getting in the way. Okay. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, please, for cancer. The Knight of Swords is coming out again, as is the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Wands did not move from the bottom of the deck, all right? And this is clarifying the Ace of Cups. Change, change, change. You got to get out of this space of, um, of feeling like there's no way out. And I feel that strongly here with this card as well. Like we were talking about the beginning of the message, um, I really am seeing someone like <laughs> on a country road. And you know how dark those those country roads get, okay? Those things get dark. You can't even see a thing. You can't even see yourself. <laughs> um, you know, and just woods all around. And it's like you just stand in the middle of the road spinning in circles because you can't see anything. You don't know which way to go, but the universe is asking for you to have faith. The universe is asking for you to remain um, in your power, all right? There's more for you. After loss comes renewal. Okay? I know it may not seem that way at this time, all right? But someone's coming in here who's stable. Someone's coming in here who is um, um, able to think on their feet. They might need to be... Um, <laughs> they're going to have to work with you, Cancer, because you don't want to do not do nothing. <laughs> like, everybody just leave me alone. Where's my bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I think they're going to bring you out of that. Nonetheless, you have a divine blessing here. That's what the Ace of Cups bring. That's why we have the rainbow. That's why it's coming from the sky. This is this is an opportunity. It's a gift from the universe, okay, to feel the love, unconditional love, self-love, self-worth. Okay, a new opportunity for your emotional space. And you need that. You need that. Okay, let's clarify the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Is this Eight of Wands for Cancer, please? What is this Eight of Wands?
Hangman's coming out. Page of Wands is coming out. And there's the Tower. Yeah, Cancer, I see you moving out from this thing. Um, and there's the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? I, I think you're going to um, get your mojo back. <laughs> All right. Underneath the Page of Wands is the Sun card. All right, this is an energy of getting your mojo back, feeling yourself again, feeling confident again. For the Eight of Wands, you have the Hangman, the Page of Wands, and the Tower's coming in for you. The Tower's coming in for you to really make that change, to really shift the energy um, and bring you back into yourself again because I don't feel like you've been yourself here. Cooped up. Somebody's cooped up. Mm. Good luck to you. Let's get some advice for you to how you can move forward in this situation. in there. <laughs> Spirit, what advice do you have for cancer, please? How can they move forward from this difficult situation, from this pain, from this heartache, from this betrayal, from this confusion that this person put them in? How can they move forward and accept this tower moment? It's beautiful. Ain't nothing wrong with the tower. This this reading is so very similar to Pisces. It's really crazy. All right, you have the Eight of Swords, the Five of um, Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, Again, for some of you, this is about self-love. Uh, there's something here about uh, getting your priorities in order. So perhaps while you've been um, at home cooped up and not answering the door, you are also not um, um, managing your priorities. So just be mindful of that, okay? Um, and as much as it might be difficult because it's hard to let go of those toxic connections for some of us, right? If we're toxic ourselves, let's be real about it. If we're toxic ourselves, uh, we cling to that. If we have trauma that we haven't healed ourselves, we cling to those other people who have trauma. If that's what you're used to dealing with, if that's what you've become complacent uh, with, then that's where you wind up stuck. But you're stuck. It's stuck. It's not happiness. It's stuck. It's two different things. It's complacency, not the same thing as fulfillment. All right. I feel very much that you need to pour that love into yourself, Cancer. Okay. But good luck to you as you make your decisions for your life because only you can do so. Um, if this is your message and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video. Uh, share the love and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.